All right, you little hooligans. Um, today we're going to look at how to simplify radicals. A radical means square root. So, let's say we have a large number, okay? We're going to do it for a large number because guess what? It'll work for large numbers, small numbers. I want to give a large number example in this one. So, let's say you got square radical. <laughs> That's silly. The square root of 4,500 or the radical of 4,500, okay? What I've told you before in previous videos, look for the four, or sorry, the five main ones, okay? Two times two is four. Three times three is nine. Uh, four times four is 16. Five times five is 25. And six times six is 36, all right? With these five right here, you can usually simplify any radical. Why do we use these? Because we know two times two is four. What's the square root of four? Two. What's the square root of nine? Three. What's the square root of 16? Four. Square root of 25? Five. And square root of 36 is six. Okay? We know that these are perfect squares, which means when we get the square root of them, it's going to be a whole number. Straight up whole number, clean as a whistle. Okay? Now, what you can do is if you have a large number like 4,500, you can simplify it down by knocking away at it. You just keep chipping away at it with one of these numbers. Okay? So, essentially what you're going to do is you're going to see if any of these numbers goes into it evenly. All right? Which one's going to jump out at you right off the bat? I'll give you a hint. It's 25. Because, see, since this is an even number like this and it's, like, stuck at 0, 0, we know that it rounds up because it's, like, rounded up to 100. And you know 25 goes to 100. It's just like dollar bills, yo. If you got 45 bucks, you know you can evenly go into that with quarters. It's just something you should know. Okay. So let's start working it. So, what you're going to do is you're going to break it off, okay? We know we want to use square root of 25. So then what you'll do is you'll just divide 4,500, divide it by 25. And then you get 180, I think. Yep, that looks right. So, square root of 180. Now, right here, I did not change the problem at all. I'm just simplifying it. It's like going from 8 to 2 times 4. You know, 2 times 4 is still 8. I didn't change anything. I just changed what it looked like. So if I wanted to, I could always go back into it and make it 4,500, okay? I can multiply them back together because that's what they're doing is being multiplied. But I'm trying to simplify it, okay? So i got to break it down. Now, what's the square root of 25? Oh, that's right. It's 5. That's why we do this, so we can break them out of square root jail, okay? And we've still got square root of 180 right there, okay? Now... Let me move this up a little bit. Okay, let me make it smaller. That way you can see what I was doing before. Okay, I'm just explaining what I'm doing. I don't know why. So now we got to look at 180 because we know 180 is probably going to simplify. Which one of these numbers shoots out at you? First thing I see is I see that 18. I think 18. So I think 9 is probably going to go into it. Okay, so we do 180 divided by 9. So it's 2, 0. So it's 20. So we know we can bring bring down everything. Don't leave that 5 hanging up there. So 5 times square root of 9 times square root of 20. Once again, I did not change this problem at all. I have not turned this into something it's not, okay? The 5's still there, and then all I did was split this little guy into these two, okay? Now, what do we know we can simplify now? 5 is still a number. That becomes 3 because the square root of 9 is 3. That's why we use these numbers, because we can simplify those into solid numbers that we can use. And then we're still multiplying times radical 20. Now, do any of these go into radical 20? I'll give you a hint. It's not going to be anything that's over 20, but I think 4 is going to see sitting pretty. So 20 divided by 4 is 5. So we split it down. Now, I can simplify these two right here. What's 5 times 3? It's 15 all day long, every day in Compton, okay? And then we can split this little guy up. So it's radical four and radical five, okay? Let me make this a little smaller so we can still see it. Okay, so 15, what's radical four? What's the square root of four? Two, and then bring down radical five. Now, can I simplify anything else? Of course, 15 times two is 30. Radical 5. Now, do any of these go into 5? No. You're thinking 4 does. No, it doesn't. What can you divide 5 divided by 4? It doesn't work. Okay? So what you'll do is you essentially try dividing it by these numbers. I'd start with the bigger and then go to the smaller until they work. And that gets something like this 
to look like something like this. And that's how we simplify radical, ladies and gentlemen. Um, check out some more videos. You can go to tarveracademy.com. Tarveracademy.com. That's probably spelled correctly. Or you can check me out at Tyler Tarver on Twitter. Shoot me a picture of one of your questions and I'll help you out. We also have an iPhone and iPad app. Just search Tarver. T-A-R-V-E-R. -E and you can download it. I was trying to do it to Mickey Mouse. It didn't work. Justin Timberlake can dance, though. So. What?